Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can repurpose an old laptop hard drive like this into an external hard drive. So, anyhow, if you have a laptop laying around that uh, maybe it doesn't work or whatever you had, your laptop quit working, the uh, hard drive's still getting it, and I would recommend testing the hard drive before going out and getting the uh, little enclosure for it. But, uh, Anyhow, this one I actually pulled out of my laptop because I upgraded it to an SSD, so uh, I still have pretty good use for a 500 gigabyte hard drive on an uh, external hard drive, I guess. So, anyhow, that's the hard drive. Set that over here, and here I have this Orico, or I'm not sure how it's supposed to be pronounced, but it's a two and a half inch SATA external hard drive enclosure. It's actually the second one of these I bought, but. Uh, because I've also done this with another uh, hard drive that I pulled out of a laptop that quit working. So, anyhow, yeah, looks like I got the drive enclosure itself in here. Which is apparently sealed quite well in its little container, but I can fix that. There we go. Now we got the enclosure there. Piece of cardboard, and there is a USB cable here, as well as a little piece of foam. Uh, anyhow, this is USB 3.0. I'm not sure if I said that before or not. And this is also a toolless installation, so I should just be able to slide this up figure out which way the connectors are supposed to go on here. Looks like it's going to be about like that. And that will just slide in there. And then we can slide. This has a piece of foam on the uh, side here. I'm not entirely sure why they give you a, a second one. I guess you could put them both on there if you wanted to, but I never did with the other one. So just take this piece and we'll slide it back over like that. And I'll get the USB cable out of here. Which, uh, this USB cable is a little bit different than the one that I got before. This one seems like it's a little bit longer. Eh, maybe not. Not the same. But anyhow. So now we'll go ahead and take this over to the computer. Uh, because this was used in the laptop, we've got to give a little bit of special treatment. Uh, before we can actually use this as a hard drive and format it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now we're at the computer. We'll go ahead and plug in the hard drive to a USB port. And with this particular enclosure, you don't need any external power. It just gets it all from uh, USB. And there it is, actually. It just popped up with uh, an Acer E is what it automatically labeled that. Um, we'll go ahead and get rid of that for now. We're going to come over here and we're going to go into disk management, however you get to that on your particular operating system. Uh, but you'll notice down here, this is the hard drive that I just plugged in, the uh, 500 gig hard drive. But you'll notice there's a bunch of partitions that we don't really need and actually uh, Windows Disk Manager won't let you do anything with them. You only get this little help. Thing, which I'm not even sure what that does to be honest with you, but I don't really care either. Um, like this, I should be able to uh, format that, yeah. Uh, but the rest of these partitions aren't going to let you do that. So uh, take note that this says disk 2 by it. And I'm going to come over here and we're going to run command prompt as admin. I'll say yes to the little thing that comes up and get rid of try Office 365. Uh, but anyhow, and this we're going to type in disk part and now we'll notice that this has changed from uh, your Windows System 32 into disk part and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to type in list disk and here we go, notice uh, disk 2 matches with uh, disk 2 over here on the uh, disk management thing so, 
And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to select this too. If I click on this. Always helps to spell things right. And hit enter. And this too is now the select disk. All right, so the next thing you need to do, and this is the dangerous part where it's going to delete all the data off the disk. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure you have the right one selected. And we're going to type in the word clean. And hit enter. And give it a second. And this part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Uh, you notice over here on the disk management thing, uh, we now have 460.76 gigabytes of unallocated space over here. All right, so now that we've got this unallocated storage showing up, we're gonna go ahead and close out of disk management and we're simply going to open it back up. And it's gonna come up with this, saying you must initialize the disk before local disk manager can access it. Select this, we're doing disk two, we're gonna use GPT, which is the default, and that's gonna be fine. There, we'll hit okay, and now, it should be initialized there, so we can click on New Simple Volume, click Next, and pretty much everything's going to be the default. Uh, that's fine. And right here, you can label it whatever you want. I'm going to call this a uh, 500 gigabyte uh, HDD. Work there. Quick format. Hit Next and Finish. And give it a second to format, format that. Shouldn't take too long. And there we go, that's it. So now you can use this thing as an external hard drive. You notice that all the unnecessary partitions are gone. And uh, these are my uh, two internal hard drives, which it is best if you can disconnect as many hard drives as you can so you're not going to get confused over. Uh, which one's what, but like I said earlier, you can come in here into the disk management and look at uh, what disk number it tells you it is right here. And that'll be the same as what it is in disk part over here, so. Alright, so anyhow, uh, this is a little drive enclosure. I think I forgot to mention this uh, enclosure and USB cable came from Amazon for 10 bucks. So, uh, definitely worth it to... Uh, pick one of these up and get a pretty high capacity USB drive out of this actually so you know I think they charge you like fifty dollars for a one terabyte drive but then again that is twice the capacity but uh, yeah if you have old uh, hard drives laying around might as well throw them into an enclosure like this and make use of them and anyhow just give you a better look at this on the front of it it has a uh, all right, so I went ahead and turned on the little light on my camera here, uh, but I'll show you the front of this thing. It's got a little micro USB port, uh, which, like I said earlier, they give you the cable for, which is pretty nice. It's not a very long cable though; it's only I think like 18 inches, foot and a half. Um, and here is the little status indicator light, which is blue when you plug it in and it gets power, and the uh, it flashes red when the drive's active. So that acts as a little activity light there as well. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing real fancy about this, but for 10 bucks, it's a 500 gigabyte uh, external hard drive, which is actually pretty useful, at least in my opinion. So, well, anyhow, I hope you found this video useful, and that's it for now, guys. Bye.